So my brothers and my sisters, as we embrace this urgency of creating the beloved community, now is the time to be love. Love means understanding, redemptive goodwill toward all which seeks nothing in return. So be love by implementing the demands of justice to eliminate the school to prison pipeline that has so many black children entrapped. Be love by correcting voting policies that seek to suppress the votes of millions of black and brown people. Be love and implement the demands of justice by transforming a society that is disproportionately violent toward black lives, including black transgendered lives and indigenous lives. Be love and correct false narratives and economic policies that continue to divide and pit poor and working class black and white people against each other. Be love and implement demands of justice where systems and structures are deconstructed and lead the way of living in community that reimagines just humane, equitable, and sustainable policies, practices, and behaviors. Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them who hate you and pray for them that despitefully use you and abuse you. Be love and do justice and love mercy and walk humbly with our God. Students with King serves as the King Center's flagship engagement platform for elementary, middle, and high school students highlighting the legacies of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Mrs. Coretta Scott King, and the impact of the 20th century American Civil Rights Movement. Our dynamic and interactive programming has reached over a million students worldwide. Our core learning programs introduce students to the philosophy of Kingian nonviolence, coined Nonviolence 365, and provide important lessons about how they can apply nonviolence in their immediate environment. Whether you're an educator who is looking for ways to bring the King legacy into your classroom, a student who wants to learn more about this powerful moral movement, or a parent who wants to get your child involved in character building and literacy development activities. Students with King is your one-stop shop for unique lesson plans, teaching resources, educational field trips, and other opportunities to engage with the history of the American Civil Rights Movement and its powerful leaders. We look forward to engaging with you and your students. Together we can build the next generation of compassionate, courageous, and conscientious leaders. Good morning, teachers, students, and parents. Thanks for joining our Student with King Reading Corner during our Women History Month. I'd like to give a special thanks to all the young ladies and women who have made a difference in our beloved community. Thank you for the work that you are doing to make our lives better. Teachers, at this time, please take out your cell phones so that you can be a part of the event by providing feedback through the scan the QR code. For those of you who don't have your phones at this time, don't worry. We will show this again at the end of the program. Once again, I'd like to thank you for signing your students up. And without further ado, I would like to introduce our moderator for today, Mr. Tyreek Wynn, who is a TV and radio anchor, CEO of the Wynn Productions, and an author. Tyreek, welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. We're so glad to have you. And I just, I'm excited myself to find out who we have with us this morning. So welcome. And I look forward to the reading today. 
Absolutely. And let, let me just tell you guys this. This is something we have been anticipating for so long, and I'm so glad it's going to be a great one. But before we bring in our guests, I want to shout some of y'all out where you guys are tuning in from. Y'all already know it's time for the roll call to shout some of you guys out. Good morning from First Grade PS132K. Good morning from Ethos Classical Charter School, Power Scholars, Mrs. Leal, second grade class, always tuning in. We appreciate you guys. Those are some of our loyal viewers there. Good morning from Samson Weber's seventh grade, Lions in District. Oh, Detroit, excuse me, Detroit, Michigan. Okay. Well, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Hello from Douglasville, Georgia at Arbor Station Elementary. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Guys, we have an amazing students with King Reading Corner for you today. We are interviewing the one and only Dr. Bernice King, the CEO of the King Center, author of It Starts With Me, and daughter of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Let's go ahead and bring her in now. Dr. Bernice King, thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for giving us your time. We know your time is valuable, and we appreciate you. Thank How you. are you? I'm good, Tari. Good to be with you. Good morning, everybody. Excited to join you in the Students with King Reading Corner. Um, and to be here with Brother Tyreek. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, thank you so much, like I said, for joining us. And you recently just released this amazing book, It Starts With Me. And we're going to have a chance to get into this book reading and you're going to have a chance to read it to the students. So let's go ahead and get into the book reading. All right. Everybody ready? All right. It starts with me. I want you to say that. I want you to touch yourself right here and say, it starts with me. All right. This is uh, authored, co-authored uh, by Dr. Bernice A. King. I'm Dr. Bernice A. King and Dr. Kimberly P. Johnson. Um, and it's illustrated by Zoe Renucci. So let's jump in. Anybody see that little bunny rabbit? There's a little bunny rabbit in there. Look out for the bunny rabbit because that bunny rabbit's going on a journey with us. Yes, I. my name is Amora. I pledge to be love. Peace on earth is what I dream of. Is that what you dream of? The world is so big that I can see. But if I want to make it better, it has to start with me. Say that again, it starts with me. All right. I can be love, I know I can do it. I just have to focus and really get to it. I'll start with myself. Each time I look in the mirror, I'll learn about love until the meaning becomes clear. But wait a minute. There's some special pictures and signs on this page. Uh, I see I can be love. Say that to your say that out loud. I can be love. Then it says I can do great things. Say that with me. I can do great things. And then what, what, oops, take it back. I think I see a picture, special picture there. If you look right down there in the right corner, that is a picture, it looks like, of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and his bride, Mrs. Coretta Scott King, at their wedding. And next to them is Mrs. Coretta Scott King. Wow. Let's turn the page, see what else is going on with B-Love on this journey. I will choose to be love. Love can bring people joy. If you see all of those people in the garden and all of the things that are growing, see the bunny rabbit helping Amora? Kindness, it says, grows here. And that's a beloved community garden. But then it says, but hate, hate is real too. It can hurt and destroy. It looks like somebody came along and just destroyed my whole beloved garden. What am I going to do? Mm. 
Hate is a burden and it's heavy to carry. Hate is like a monster that is horrifying and scary. Love though is infinite and it has no beginning or end. Look at those bubbles there. Love is sincere. That means it does not pretend. I want to be love because love can stop hate. Look at there, Amora has that eraser. Love is an eraser. It gives a clean slate. When I'm not good, are there times that you're not good, children? Sometimes I'm not. Love though always forgives. It's like a warm spot. Oh my God, what's happening here? It looks like they are leaving her out. So she's crying. We all can be love if we do the right things to focus on kindness and joy that it brings. Oh, they brought her to be involved. Learn to speak up. Children, you have a powerful voice. Let courage and happiness be your first choice. I get it, I get it. When people are mean, sometimes it's hard to be kind, but you can choose to be love and it just might change their mind. Wow, a lot of different angry people. We, we may get angry for, for no reason. We may laugh at others' pain. We may live in constant violence. There's a lot of violence happening today, but someone has to break that chain. So yes, it will start with me. Say that, it will start with me. We don't have to be hateful, harass, or hit. Let's all be love. Peace is a much better fit. Love makes us bold. It helps us rise up and be strong and to keep looking for ways to fix what is wrong? So children starting today, I make a personal choice to be love. I pledge to allow love to drive my thoughts, words, decisions, and actions and honor the humanity of every individual. Love is the land the air and the sea. You see, they're recycling. We need more love now. Wouldn't you agree with me? Love is our families. It's where we live and grow. Love is our beloved community and the people we get to know. But love is much more than the way we feel. Love is the bandage that can help the world heal. You see that Band-Aid? A be love Band-Aid, how about that? Wow, look at here, justice and humanity. And it looks like we have some other friends, dogs and ducks and a cat. This says we can build the great bridges 
that we want to see by learning about justice and loving humanity. Justice likes to look for the right things to do. Humanity is the common good between me and you. Wow, looks like they're painting our be love, the community. Let's all be love and use respect everywhere. Let's stand up for justice and show that we care. Justice and humanity can begin from within. And if we learn to be love, guess what happens? when we learn to be love. Yes, then everyone will win. Say that with me. Everyone will win. And that's the end. We're gonna go over and there's a little pledge there to be love. And I want you to join me in this pledge. Is there a way for it to be increased? You know, I have these almost 60 eyes. <laughs> it's decreased now. Uh, I can't see that. Might need to take out that dedications page. Um, let's see here. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna open it up in my book. Okay. I can't, I can't see that, yeah. All right, children and teachers, because the teachers must set the example. This is the Be Love Pledge. And so I want you to follow after me. Three things are true. Say that, three things are true. Repeat this after me. Hate and unfairness in our world has to stop. I, say your name, Bernice, pledge to help make the world a better place. All right, keep, keep repeating after me. The choice is mine to do nothing or stand up for what is right. Let's keep going. Starting today, I make the personal choice to do something and say this loud, be love. All right, we're gonna keep going. I pledge to let my words and actions Show love. I pledge to treat people like they matter. I pledge to kindly remind everyone that they should lead with love. Let's keep going, we're getting there. I pledge to focus on changing the things that are wrong. Not hurting the people, that means bullying, who are doing wrong things. I pledge to help bring people together and celebrate our differences. I pledge to be courageous and caring while acting with love to ensure others are not being harmed. I pledge, come on, we're almost there, to always do and say what is right. And then it says, by signing this pledge, say this with me, I'm helping to create what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. called the beloved community. Let's say that together. The beloved community. And that's the end. <laughs> it starts awesome. with me. 
That is fantastic. And I, let me just tell you, I love that book so much. It just it just speaks so much volume and it has such a good message to it. And of course, I had to twin with Amora. I had to wear my beloved shirt today as well. <laughs> <laughs> But so let me ask you this. And, and guys, those of you guys who are watching, please comment your questions in the chat and I'll try to get to them as as many of them as possible. But what I do want to ask you is be love. Can you tell us exactly the for the people who don't know? Can you tell us exactly what be love means? Wow, that's a that's a hard question to answer for children. <laughs> Woo, you put me on the spot there. Um, be love. I, it's all in the book. I mean, for you who are young, it means to be kind. It means to be strong. It means to keep going. It means to share care and compassion with everybody you know. It means to do what my mother used to tell me as a child. She told this to me and my other three siblings. I have two brothers and a sister, but my sister is deceased. Um, she used to tell us, somebody's got to cut off the chain of violence. So when you see violence, don't participate in it. Don't add to it. Um, uh, it means to forgive. It means to don't hold grudges against people. Um, it means so much. It means caring about the other person regardless of how mean they may be. And that's hard for a lot of people, especially when you're a child. Um, but it just means being the bigger person. I'm not going to participate in all the bad and the negative and the ugly. I'm going to bring the beauty and the kindness and the strength. And I'm going to also bring courage because I'm going to have the courage to say, no, you all, we can't do it that way. We have to do it in the positive way, in the kind way, in the correct way. All yeah. those things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, oh, we have a question. Um, Janet Dillon, the students want to know if you made changes to some of the illustrations. You know, I'm not the illustrator. I'm just the co-author. So um, I am almost sure that Zoe made some changes. I can tell you for sure that when we were working on the book that I said, hey, I see the bunny on some of the pages. Why don't we put the bunny rabbit on all of the pages to go with Amora on the journey? And so that's one of the things I know that we changed. And the reason that we made that change is because they put the bunny there. And I said, well, since my nickname was Bunny when I was growing up, Nobody's allowed to call me that today. I'm Bernice as a grown person, Miss Bernice to the children. Um, but um, I was named, nicknamed B-U-N-N-Y, like a bunny. I was hopping around everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And Miss Jones says, thank you for reading to us today. We noticed your parents' picture in Amora's room. Are you the inspiration for her, for her character? I would have to say, yes, that's very good. Um, actually, the, the young lady who is the co-author with me, Dr. Kimberly Johnson, and I have had a lot of, she's really the real writer and creative. I'm the one who brings these thoughts to the idea of this book. Uh, so she and I talked a lot about what's in this book. And, um, one of the things that, that I shared with her was the story I just said about how my mother said somebody has to cut off the chain of violence. And as you notice in the book, that's what it, it says, almost in the middle of the book. It talks about cutting off somebody, some, but someone has got to break that chain. So that was inspired by me. So yes, uh, all of this was inspired. They said that they told me the illustrator and Dr. Kimberly, while we were working on the books, <laughs> said we were trying to mimic you. I used to wear my hair with a little ball up there. If you look I on the, that. if you Google <laughs> my pictures, you'll see something similar to that. And so I would say, yes, the book is inspired by me. <laughs> awesome. Jade Stroud, Ethos Classical Kindergarten Scholars Pledge to Be Loved. So yes, they must have 
repeated the pledge. So we appreciate that. And um, I got, well, we have another question. PS 132 in Williamsburg, Brooklyn is inspired by your work. Be love guides the work we do. Our school community love uh, party emoji. And then we have another question. Katie, what is your favorite memory of your dad being the love? That's a great question. Wow. You know, I was five years old when my father was assassinated. I had just turned five seven days before. So my birthday's coming up on March 28th, and I'll be 60 yeah, years right. old. I know I look about 42, 43. Oh, yeah, you look good. I'm, yeah, I'm almost 60 <laughs> years old. Um, and um, so I didn't have a lot of personal memories uh, that I made with my father that I remember. I'm sure I made numerous, um, but I can tell you some of our personal, I will tell you my personal love story in a different way, a father to a daughter love. When we talk about be love in the book, we're talking bigger than just your family. It does include family. It includes friends, but it also includes people that are mean to us. It includes people uh, that may be adversarial and try and mean us no good. We have to love everybody. But with my father, my personal experience, when, um, you know, between the age of four, three, three and a half and four and all the way until I turned five, my father would come home and I would run up into his arms and he would say, all right, let's play the kissing game. <laughs> now, what was the kissing game? The kissing game was a, 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 a means for he and I to bond and connect. And so each one of us, meaning me, my three siblings, that means my two brothers, my sister, and my mom had a special place on his face where I would land a kiss. So mine was on the forehead right there in the center. My two brothers were on either cheek. My sisters was on the corner of the mouth and mine was um, and my mom's was right smack dead in the middle of the mouth. So he would say, all right, let's play the kissing game today. So I would begin after he would say, okay, where is Dexter's spot? One of my brothers. And I would take my lips, perch them, and I would kiss him on that cheek. And he went around to every spot and he called them sugar spot. Some, some communities, those in the black community, we grew up with a kiss being called sugar. Give me some sugar. Some and that sugar. means a little kiss on the cheek. Oh yeah, awesome. And then this is our last question from Gwendolyn Edwards. From Miss Edwards' third grade class, what inspired you to write the book, It Starts With Me? Great question. So uh, the King Center a year ago started a campaign called It's uh, um, be love. And we did it. We launched it for adults. And the idea was to say, hey, with all of this division, with all of this meanness and polarization in our world, we need to let people know that Dr. King used the power and strength and the courage of love to make a change. And so we launched this big campaign to talk about love from the perspective of what Dr. King talked about. He said that um, uh, power at his best is love implementing the demands of justice. And he went on to say that justice at its best is love correcting everything that stands against love. And so as we were going through this campaign with the adults, we said, oh my God, we need to do something for the children. <laughs> and so it was suggested that we do a children's book. And so we started this journey because that same year that we did the campaign, the King holiday observance we had as a part of our theme, it starts with me. Um, and so we said, let's call it, it starts with me. And we will put a little girl that has on a similar shirt to Mr. Tyreek, the Be Love shirt. And so that she can represent the message of Be Love. And let's say, the love starts with me and let children know that they can make all the difference by bringing love to every situation, every encounter that they end up in. 
and they can begin to help us change the world with the power and the strength and the courage and the compassion and kindness of be love. Awesome. Wow. That is a great way to end it. Mr. Miss Dr. Bernice A. King, thank you so much, so much for giving us your time. We appreciate you so much. And guys, thank of you course. So much. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And guys, of course, you guys got to go get the book as well. The book, it starts with me, is available at thekingcenter.org. And you can also come on campus and get the book as well. And you can also get a Be Love shirt, as you can see, I got on right here. Uh, they're in tons of colors. They're in gold, uh, blue, green, orange. So, yeah, you guys can participate and be part of the beloved community as well. And teachers, we wanna invite you to also scan the QR code. This is how we can improve uh, students with King Reading Corner. So we ask you to take part in the QR code and um, take part and complete the survey and uh, give us some feedback. We wanna know how we can improve here at the King Center with students with King Reading Corner. And we would greatly appreciate if you guys can participate in that. Uh, once again, guys, thank you so much for joining us on this special edition of Students with King Reading Corner. I'm Tyreek Wynn. It's been an amazing pleasure being your moderator. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at TyreekWynn.iHeartMedia and follow my journey and everything that we have going on. And also tune in next month because we have another Students with King coming up. And that will actually be, um, I think, our second to last Students with King of the school year. So make sure you guys tune in. Uh, Dr. Bernice King, thank you so much for uh, joining us and happy Women's History Month. Thank you to your contributions that you have made to our society as well. And guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next month. Hi, I'm Dr. Bernice King. And I'm Dr. Kimberly P. Johnson. And we are the co-authors of It Starts, Starts With, with me. me. Well, it, 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 it starts, starts, with, starts with me. No, I it think starts it really with you. starts with me. No. Well, well, maybe it just starts with you. It starts with you. This is a book for children and the rest of the world about love. A powerful word that really can change and transform our world. Now, this girl here is Amora. So Amora is going to take us on a journey around the world with her friends talking about how we can be loved. Thank you so much for reading this book. It starts with me. Dr. King's vision is coming to life and you guys are going to carry that vision into the world. Have fun reading. We want our children and you parents to be loved in the way you speak, in the way you act, and in the way you think. That's what it starts with me about. It starts with me. I am the one who fix the world with love. It starts with me!